Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. And we're quite giggly today, yeah, and we're on the park bench. Yes, we are. Uh, to talk about a project that, uh, as far as the internet is concerned, appeared out of nowhere for four hours <laughs> and then vanished, never to be seen again. I, I, I think the um, most common description of this project that I saw was, why? Yeah, what or why? <laughs> well, basically the, uh... we, if you hadn't worked it out, we're talking about the We Shred Your Comments live stream. Yes, which, uh, which suddenly appeared on the internet. Uh, you may notice uh, during all the bits where we're putting comments on screen here that I'm blurring out the comments. And that's because, uh, as I understand British law, the li just putting them out on the live stream with no moderation, uh, we're not publishing them, we're not responsible for them. Yeah. But copying that into this video, unless I want to check every single comment, no, I'm just going to blur them. There's only a, a reasonable level of expectation of moderation for a live thing that's going yep. that fast. And we were, we had a plan to deal with it, which was to shred it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> which worked quite well for that purpose, to be fair. Yeah. We, we did get a few requests to explain uh, in order why and what. Um, so we thought we'd run through uh, why we did it and then run through some of the technical stuff behind the scenes that made it work. The uh, why can basically be summed into the main reason for everything like that that we do in that we thought it was funny. We had an idea. So we did it. It was, it was one of those things that once the idea appears, then we, we, we've either got to do it or not do it. And, uh, and as always, by the time we'd committed to doing it, is and actually got to the day of doing it it was a few months later yeah and we were going i hope everyone else still finds this funny because <laughs> we've been explaining this joke for a while now <laughs> yeah we were actually a little bit worried going in i think it's safe to say because okay so first of all so we explain we, what it was yeah we we hooked a printer to well i hooked the youtube live comment stream to a thing that sent you the comments and I made a uh, dot matrix printer constantly print out those comments. So we had a printer which was constantly receiving what you typed in from the live stream. Yes. But then we realised that that's a bad idea because, let's be honest, live stream, live, live, <laughs> live stream comments aren't known for being the best pros. No. Um, and we also realised that uh, in, the, in the event that uh, we got some really nasty comments, we'd be printing them in perpetuity, and that didn't, didn't sound right. And then the, the obvious solution for this was a shredder. And yes. like most of the bottom half of the internet, that's where it all deserves to go. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so once, uh, and once we had the idea for the shredder, the whole thing fitted together as a joke. And then we realised that it kind of felt like a performance art piece or something like that. <laughs> So we booked Studio One at YouTube. <laughs> well, we just wanted even a cupboard to do it in, but they gave us Studio One. Yeah, that's true. Originally, <laughs> we were going to use like a broom cupboard somewhere. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, we've booked the big studio for. It's, it's just a printer and a shredder. Are you sure about that? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and of course, because they're using the live stream, they have to use the really expensive 4K Sony F something cameras. Yes. Yeah, which are which are like five figure sums each, and we had three of them pointing at the printer <laughs> at the and shredder. Set up. <laughs> um, so the why is very brief. The why is because we thought it would be funny and thankfully the internet did as well. Uh, as for the how, um, I sketched a diagram on a piece of paper of what I thought it was going to look like. Uh, turns out in the end, it, it, <laughs> we, we did it. <laughs> Pretty much spot on. Um, so, um, shall I, sorry, shall I start with the YouTube API, because where, where, the, where the feed starts, then we can work through. Yeah, if that you makes want, sense. Yeah. Sorry, I cut you off there. Um, but I was going to say, if, if we start there, YouTube has a live comment stream API. Uh, it's not like Twitch, it's not an IRC or anything like that, it's just you request it and data comes back. Um, there's a bit of a complicated way of getting Super Chats as well, but basically the, the data arrives. Oh yeah, also Super Chats got printed out in big ASCII art, because... We never told anyone that. No, we, we, a few people discovered it though. <laughs> yeah, which I feel a little bit better about. It didn't. It didn't feel like going. Oh, pay if you don't know, uh, super chats are a thing where you can pay money to have your comment slightly more prominent on a live stream chat window. Yeah. Uh, so we built in something. So then, if if someone did that, then they'd get something for it. But we weren't going to ask you to pay us money <laughs> to do that because that just feels a bit odd. Because we're not doing anything. Yeah. It was just a 
static piece of art almost. <laughs> oh wow, you actually did just refer to it as art there. I said almost. Okay. Um, well, I don't know how else to yeah. describe it. What else was it? <laughs> Fair. I, I mean, I so I bundled up those comments, um, stored a buffer of them, stored at the most recent hundred, I think, and then they were just constantly looping. And whenever Matt's system asked for comments, it dumped the most recent ones to him. That way, because the printer has like a 64 kilobyte buffer, it never got too far behind the live stream. If it ever couldn't catch up, just discarded a few. We needed to print a lot of things out. And to have a constant stream into a shredder, a dot matrix printer was the way to go. Yeah. Now, can you imagine, like, this is the printer that you'd have from the 80s and the 90s everywhere. Can you imagine how hard it was to find one of them? You're wrong, it was piss easy, Amazon, done, next day delivery. <laughs> uh, along with the paper. The paper as well, yes, we... Uh, Which, and we thought it was going to use so much more paper. We, we did some calculations of how much paper it could use, so then we had enough. So we had a whole box of paper, which you can see on the floor, and we had a secondary box, and we were hoping that it would time out okay, so then we could end the stream when the paper ran out. Yeah, our calculations were wrong. We went through maximum a third of the box. I think it was more like a quarter. Yeah. Like, you may have seen in the video a couple of times we go and inspect the box and that's us going, it's, it's, it still just looks full. We're yeah. pressing it to see if it would compact, had uncompacted or anything. But nope. No. no, it just kept going. So to get the, um, the comments into that printer, we wanted it to be a full stream. So I couldn't print pages. I had to um, use it as a line printer like the old days, which I tried to do on my Mac. And that was hard, especially because there were only Windows drivers for the printer. Uh, also, it's over USB. Mm. Like th this, it has a serial port built into it, but I didn't have a USB serial adapter around. Yeah. It, it was the we had bought the things, we had sat in a place to try and make it work, and we weren't going anywhere until it did something. <laughs> so in the end, you hooked it up through DOS prompt in Windows, didn't you? Yes. It, it was attached to, it, it was installed as a normal printer in Windows, which then I did it as a network share, which then I mounted again on itself yep. over the network, which was itself, yep. and then could print to that on yes. the DOS thing. By just sending a command line that was just print the text file that your script was Copy created. text file to printer output. Bodging! It's good. It makes things work reasonably well and to get and to get the um the comments that tom was putting together into um the print stream that i just described i i wrote a bit of uh javascript yeah because yeah it's <laughs> node it, it, it does the job which means i have written a javascript print spooler <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> And that was the basics of the whole that thing, That was. Really. And then I texted you the night before saying, that shredder, is it wide enough for the paper? Now, I already knew it wasn't, because I had to buy the shredder and look for it, and they're all A4. Yeah, there are no A3 shredders under about 500 quid. Well, we weren't going to spend loads of money on it, because why yeah. would we? Um, uh, and shredders generally have a five minute duty cycle yep. where you can leave them on for five minutes and then they have to stay off for a good half hour so then the motor's cool down and then it can deal with more yep. crunching. Um, so I searched the internet for the shredder I could find that had the longest on time. Yeah, because we knew it would always shred faster than printing. So we knew we'd yeah. be turning it on and off. Um, and the because I couldn't find any that could do wide enough, it didn't matter because all shredders can do at least four sheets of paper. Yeah. So we felt fold felled it. We felled it over. <laughs> Past tense of folds. Good. Um, <laughs> what I liked about that is originally our plan was we were not going to be in this shot at all. It was all going to be fully automated. We were going to be turning the shredder off off screen using the um, just using a power switch. But then as soon as we realised now we're going to have to keep folding the paper. It suddenly became this thing, well, no, we're going to have to keep coming in and doing then. Yeah, actually, that worked out. That worked out better. That was quite <laughs> To fun. be honest, it gave us something to do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because four hours is a very long time in a room with a very noisy printer. Yes. It sounded a lot better on camera than it did in real life. And I don't know why. But you got all that lovely little crinkling sound 
that in the room was completely drowned out by the print head. But the, the mic was just pointed perfectly at the shredder to capture that noise. I positioned the mic so then it was sort of off the, sh off the printer and pointing slightly towards the shredder because the printer was so noisy it was going to pick it up anyway. Then that wasn't a happy accident. That was Matt Gray competent. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't want to drown it out. And yep. the um, tech crew at YouTube were listening upstairs yeah. as I was doing that. So what are we going to do next? There isn't a second version of this, is there? No, God, no, we wouldn't do that Because I had someone ask, are we going to do it again? No. no. Joke's done. No, we've done it. <laughs> we, we thought it was funny. It was. <laughs> the reason it went on for four hours is because you kept watching it. Like, and then we kept it going until people got bored. Um, average watch time, six minutes. Whoa. But it never really dipped. Like, people kept coming back and people kept joining in. Normally with a live stream, you're expected to go, well, no one's Lots watching. Lots of people at the beginning and then no one comes back, but it stayed but steady. Yeah. It was about the same. There was a slight tail off towards the end because we'd been on for four hours, yeah. but there was still the same amount of people throughout the whole thing. And the, the, we would have had to stop at we'd be like three hours 50. We would have had to have stopped at four hours anyway because that's a hard limit on YouTube live stuff, I was it? wrong. Oh, really? They fixed that. Oh. Yep. You can go do eight hours, 12 hours, whatever now. Oh. Glad we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> You may have seen it break a couple of times. Yeah. Um, that wasn't my code. Was it not? No, it was the Windows print spooler. Oh, okay. It, it crashed. That'll happen when you send one print job to it every second for oh, several yeah, hours. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was what we did it. That, that, was, <laughs> that was what we did it. Uh, we have recycled all of the shreddings. They all went straight into the recycle bin. I'm sure we'll find another use for that printer at some point. Yeah. And in the meantime, you've got a great shredder. I might put it next to my letterbox so then I can shred all my <laughs> junk mail. Or I could just wire it into my letterbox. You know oh, wait, what, <laughs> then I'll get a new card delivered or something. You know what the best gag of the whole thing was? That decision about five, ten minutes before going on air to rig the shredder so we could take the basket out. <laughs> so it just went everywhere. Yep. <laughs> There's a security um, sensor to make sure that you can't get anywhere near the, sh the shredding things. There was a security sensor. There is nothing that can't be fixed with gaffer tape and cardboard. <laughs> and by fixed, I mean bodged to hell. So there you go, that's, um, that's, that's how it worked. That's what we did. How the whole thing happened. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's flailing arms. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be my new outro. Flailing arms! <laughs>